is everybody? Look, we have here more audience. <laughs> Farouk, can we see you? There's Farouk. There's Berta, there's Miles. Now Lexi is coming. Okay, so I see we're live. Let's just wait a couple of minutes till more people come in. We are going to practice today. Uh, hi. Hi. Um, family Qigong for back health. All right, so I hope last uh, yesterday, last night, the class that we gave on the wind points, it was useful and helpful to you, okay? And thanks uh, to people who shared the class and thanks for everybody who liked it. Like uh, we always uh, say that, you know, more people know about it, the better there is the world and we organize space for ourselves like this and help. Okay, so I want to, oh, now we have a cat as well coming, my goodness, it's the whole farm. Hi, lovely. <laughs> Cherry's asleep, I don't think she's gonna bother. Yeah. So, um, while we're waiting for, uh, for people, let's see, we can tag our friend. We can tag John, hi John. Okay, some people will be still asleep on the other side. Right, so <clears throat> two people are here. Hi, somebody's giving us a like. We don't know your names yet, but that's okay. We'll see you later. We'll see the names later. So, I would like to show you some uh, of the resources that I have uh, for, with Spring Forest Chicon um, with Master Lin oh, while we're waiting. So, Master Lin is the one who gives us the uh, free classes. Hi Stella, good morning. Hello to Holland from Mallorca, how are you doing guys? We had such a lovely sunny morning, but now it got a little bit cloudy again. So, <clears throat> but still no rain, so that's, that's also good. So, Alexi, can you sit on the floor please, so people can see all the, the books that I shared, that I put there? Okay, so the first, uh, yeah, Masteline, who is this over here, he looks a little bit younger, so it's, still with more hair on the top of the head. I have this book already for about 10 years. So this is um, his, his book, Bona Hila. <clears throat> and uh, his message is, um, I was Bona Hila, you were Bona Hila too. And uh, yeah, a healer in every family and a world with, without pain. So this is the message that he brings into the world okay and over here i have beautiful inscription with his handwriting which says yeah he teaches unconditional love as the most important force power um in the universe <clears throat> so he says over here unconditional love is the power it lives within you awaken it love yourself heal the world love always that's beautiful so hola kati hi liz thanks guy for joining so we're just looking for a few minutes first at, at different books that uh, different books and dvds and classes that master lin shares can we please not <laughs> not, not have that the background uh, growling. Berta. <laughs> <laughs> so today we allowed the dogs in because yesterday was just uh, too hot for them to stay outside. They just wanted to be part of the class. Hi, Katie. Good morning. Is Aina there? Está ahí Aina? Mira, Alexia está aquí. Okay. So this is the book. This book contains his story and. Um, um, his message, what he teaches, he explains how it works, how Qigong works. Um, and it also has beautiful testimonials of many, many different people who took classes with him or had healing with him. And <laughs> hi, John. <laughs> uh, hello to Keynes in Australia. Internet is fantastic, isn't it? Connecting us from, you know, all over the world. 
So yeah, this is a very good book. If you want to know more about him, and if you want to read testimonials, if you want to know his story, if you want to know how Qigong works and what is the basis for for Qigong healing, then this is the book to get. And um, another book I wanted to share with you. This is like a manual to uh, to human body. It's called Head Head to Toe Healing. Okay. Your body's repair manual. So here, the good thing about this book is that uh, you can just find mouse. This is really disturbing. The sound. Can you please stop it? Uh, playing with her right now like this. Thanks. Um, so over here, he explains uh, again about qigong, about how the body works according to the qigong tradition, and then there are lots and lots and lots of healing techniques. Aha, Vira, I know you. Si, buenos dias, Lexi. <laughs> bueno, muy bien, me alegro. So, and, um, so, for example, you can just go, there is an index over here, you can go at the back, where it says, it's just alphabetical order of all sorts of different conditions, pains and aches, etc., which are, from Qigong perspective, our blockages in the body, uh, based on either unhealthy lifestyle or imbalanced emotions or you know it can be different different uh, things and uh, through practicing Qigong we can transform those blockages like this we can transform the pain and we can transform whatever um, disease we're experiencing so when you go to this alphabetical order over here then you find for example um, let's say P, it says pain, anywhere, page, uh, page 40, arm, 32, body in general, 38, chest, ear, eye, facial, head. <laughs> we have a little farm here, no, Baroque is... <laughs> I think he needs it. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is good, this is family time, you know, so... Yeah, we need a, a, also for dogs like this. Actually, Madison King, she has one for dogs. Um, we're healing with energy medicine for the for the animals. It's fantastic. If you have a uh, dog or a cat, she also has for cats. You can look it up. So um, these were the two books that I recommend you looking up. Hi, Christina, how are you? And you can find them all on his website, springforestchigong.com. Or you just can, you know, Google his name, Chunyalin, and there will be, you know, you can find the links. Aha! Uh -huh. Kachi sends us laughing. Yeah, from you, yes. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> bless you, John says. John said, bless you, Farok. So I've got as well a few um, CDs, and I'll show you DVDs as well. So this is the music that is playing now, that is very good for meditation and practicing the exercises. Okay, it's called Inner Beauty. It's really, really nice. It's also composed by him. Hi, Natasha. How are you guys? Hello to UK. So this is another one that is six word uh, uh, chant, Om Mali Bin Mehong, that is a healing chant for different parts of the body. You can actually play it in your house, you know, just to heal the energy of the house. And obviously it affects you and your family. This is really good. All of it is good because Master Lin's integrity and you know high energy is um, coming through all of them. This is a special healing meditation for cancer patients. Okay, so if this is your issue, you can have a look at this. It's really good as well. Then we also have the Heart Sutra chant, which is for healing of the heart on all levels, not only physical. Okay, this is also very good. Actually, Heart Sutra class I had with him, well, the first class I had in Amsterdam. What a coincidence, Jan's done a Qigong practice for upper back. <laughs> Too much tech snack, yes, on laptop, I know, I know, yeah. And um, uh, this is another one that is very good for either meditation or practice of your exercises back into the universe, also beautiful music, also composed by him. And Om Bali Bimi Hong is also chanted by him, okay? And uh, he also announced in uh, his um, live class yesterday or before yesterday that now they are going to, um, to you know, they go on, on cruise uh, at the beginning of the year. 
the whole, uh, the entire team of Spring Forest Chigon, and everybody is invited. And he goes with his wife Deborah and uh, three um, Tibetan monks, and they uh, transmit two times a day those these meditation chants for healing the oceans, healing the waters of the world, and healing the world. Thanks for the heart. <laughs> heart to you back. Um, and. Uh, uh, they are transmitted for free so people can uh, listen to them in the free transmission and then people can buy them to play them you know every day because they're seven days blessings seven days two times a day a specific uh, chant for a different there is a Buddha chant medicinal chant karma chant uh, longevity chant etc so and with guided meditation from Astaline and what uh, they're going to do is that now, during the, this coronavirus, not only he gives 30 minutes free class every day at 2 p.m. Spanish time, 8 a.m. Minnesota, and 1 p.m. In, in the UK, they're also going to open those meditations again for people for free. So he says if you go to his website, you will have a link how to get them and download them and listen to them. So you can listen to them or you can just play them again on the background in your house, which is really, really good and cleansing for the energy of the house. So this is about the chants. Now I want to show you what, uh, what we practiced. Uh, the, the two classes that I already showed you. First one was the five healing movements for the uh, emotions. And another one, which one did I do? Oh yes, for the, um, for the breathing system. So they're all based on... <coughs> this one is, you can get on his website. It's really good. I mean, all of it is good. I'm not going to say they're good. It just goes by default, okay? Spring Forest Qigong, five elements. So it comes with a manual and comes with a DVD and a CD, okay? Guys, just to let you know, I'm not selling anything. These are just my products. I'm not getting any money, any commission. I'm just letting you know what's available, what I'm using and what is fantastic, okay? So um, it's not a commercial break, it's just to, know, to let you know what you can have. And over here is very good explanation of what we're doing when we practice the five elements, how we dress, address those <clears throat> elements and obviously organs, meridians, emotions, and how we activate them. So I recommend you to get that if, you, uh, if you're liking the classes that I give you because they're based on that. And um, then there will be let me show you here quickly. If you want to start from the very beginning, there is something called Spring Forest Qigong Fundamentals, and it includes a level one manual where all the techniques I explain. So this one is for health. If you have physical problems, then this is the one to get. And it comes as well with a DVD, so you can practice with Master Lin all this, the whole class. It's a full class and also a small universe meditation which is excellent to open your microcosmic orbit the governing and central meridians which are the, the, the most important uh, rivers of energy in the body so this one level one is called for health okay then there is level two for healing which is uh, more for already there are ex different exercises here advanced exercises for spiritual healing and for um, cultivating your spiritual energy, for becoming stronger as a healer. And um, as well, over here, there are, uh, uh, you know, there are also, explain, from the first level, he already explains how to help somebody with the pain, how to do the sword fingers technique. We may be all gonna do a class on that too once. And uh, here, you know, over here, he also get, goes into yeah, it's more advanced and more different conditions and how to, for example, how to deal with blood pressure and uh, etc. Lots of lots of interesting things. And it also comes obviously with DVD and lots of bonus materials over here. And then there is also level three. Level three comes without the DVD because he prefers to teach level three in, in person or through through the, through his teachers and masters. Hola Tomas, ¿cómo estás? Muy bien que estás aquí. Que, bueno, ahora estamos hablando cinco minutitos de diferentes uh, recursos que hay eh, en, uh, en la página de mi maestro de Chigong, Masterlin, en Spring Forest Chigong, ¿ok? 
So, yo no estoy vendiendo nada, solamente digo lo que tengo yo y lo que funciona muy bien. Uh, vale, pues, and this is level 3, this is for advanced energy development and healing, so it's only a, 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 a manual, okay? And he is really for advanced conditions like, you know, blockages like cancer, etc. Okay? Uh, so these are the, the resources that are available on Spring Forest Qigong website. And um, now we're gonna go into our class. Bon dia. <laughs> okay. Okay, take care. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be on replay. So we're going to show you how we do it uh, through this method, okay? So now we're going to move this a little bit further so we can find the space to stand. Yeah? So now we have to organize ourselves. Okay, legs. Please, please move the slippers. So first we're going to prepare the back. So if you have a partner, then you do it to each other. If you don't have a partner, then you can use to prepare the back, to activate the back meridians. I'll show you as well a little chart over here, what we have on the back from the Chinese medicine perspective. So these are the meridians that go through the back. Along the spine, there is bladder meridian. This is obviously a governing meridian that governs the back. There is gold bladder meridian here on the, on the sides. And there are meridians that go through this side, which are triple warmer and small intestine. <clears throat> okay, so um, obviously back is of, of a vital importance. It's not, even if you don't have any back issue, um, there are, um, the blood meridian that goes twice through the back is responsible for central nervous system. And as you see, everything is connected to the back. Absolutely every organ, the points up to each organ, each meridian. So it becomes clear why it is so vital important to have our back, you know, tended to. Yeah? So, uh, and actually, I, I wanted to say about what the, what was that? Yes, over here. No, that was another one. Yes. All right. I just wanted to uh, wanted to uh, spine exercises. So he says spine exercises. This is in level one. Most human ailments relate to blockages in the spine, mental problems, and other sickness. Uh, in the head relate to the neck. Illness in the major organs relate to the mm, back spine. Reproductive organ problems relate to the lower back and the tailbone. The spine exercises balance and energize that vitally important area of the body. So here is our topic for the day. Okay? So, <clears throat> like I said, if you don't have anybody, where are my other balls? Okay. <laughs> so if you don't have a partner, you can use a ball like this, for example. If you don't have a ball, that's fine. You can get it later. Um, where are they? Can you please give me that? Okay. Mark, can you come here? Stop it. Stop it now. Quickly, please, let's see. Thank you. So, or you can use... A ball like this, for example, in Mallorca we bought it, I bought it in Mula. Peta. She's just, she loves those balls. Peta. It's a spiky ball, so you can massage those areas. Leave, leave it, it's really hard. <laughs> Next to this thing. Oh, okay. okay, so you can massage this Peta. with a... <laughs> massage it like that, for example, these areas. You can also do it, you know, next to the wall. So you put yourself next to the wall or to the chair and just roll, you know, to activate. <laughs> no, we have tag. Or you can also do with a, you know, put two tennis balls in a sock and also, you know, like carefully, um, better not lying down because, you know, it can be a bit too strong for those points um, on the side of the back, uh, on, this, on the spine. But next to the wall, it's really good, you know. So you put it 
like on the both sides of the spine next to the wall and you just roll up and down so that's in case you don't have a partner and this is the same way you just put it on the back and just stand next to the wall and do it like this and we <laughs> It's, that's why yesterday in the class they weren't allowed because this is the disruptive force number six. Come on, Beta, give to me. Come on, oh, that's not for eating. Okay, I'm going to put this in here. Beta, not for that for you. Okay, Beta. well, if you do have a partner, if you have your um, Beta. husband or wife or boyfriend or girlfriend or friend or whoever. Um, or a child, so what we would do to activate the spine first before the exercise. First, it's always good to stretch the spine a little bit, so you go like this, from the center with both hands, you go um, diagonally, come here closer so we can see you doing it on Lexi as well, Mark will do on Lexi at the same time, so you do it diagonally, okay, then you can do it horizontally like that, just break the, the, the spine, and then also stretch um, from the center of the spine uh, to the top and to the bottom, okay? And then we're just gonna use our nails to scratch the back because it's really good to activate the fascia and to activate an energy medicine called uh, radiant circuits. And it feels really good as well. So if you're doing it now or you're receiving it, then you will know that it's really good. Okay, and then in Qigong, we activate it like this. Rub your hands together to clean them up a little bit. Shake them off. Remember that our hands are electromagnetic. So every time you touch somebody, you drag that energy. And when you work for a while, then you want to shake your hands off. Rub your hands together and shake them off just to clean up this energy. And you can just imagine if you like, it's not necessary because Earth is very accepting anyway, but you can imagine that Earth is uh, receiving it and transforming it and transmuting it. <coughs> So now, the, uh, how we activate it. So you just take your hand like that and you start from the right shoulder. Shall we do it with the left first? Uh, my hand goes right, let's, let's just go with my hand. So you start from the right shoulder and you make little circles like that going diagonally to the opposite hip through the back. And you do it slowly, you don't rush, okay? So because energy wants to catch up. Okay, and, and then off the hip, all right? So you repeat it two more times with one hand, activating this part and crossing the energy over if you see, okay? And then we're going to do the left, so with the left hand, little circles, you can press. You feeling good pressure, Mars? Mm -hmm. okay. okay, and off. The back, you check in with your partner whether they like what they're doing, whether it's comfortable. You know, if somebody has injury, then be aware of that. So, three times and off. And now, with this hand, you can do vertical, just the line of the spine. Not pressuring too, too hard, but you know, just a nice, comforting pressure. So, the same circles, little circles. You can go a little bit faster. Adjust your rhythm to the rhythm of you of yourself and your partner. Alright. And now we're going to <coughs> cup the back like this. Put the cup hand in the cup and just cup. Because we're activating all those meridians that I showed you now on the chart of a pressure chart and all these vitally important points. So this is the preparation part before we go into the active movements, which are also going to be 20 minutes or 25. Go on, go on. Okay, now you can do a little bit for me. So people will do it again. So <clears throat> what do we do first? Stretch the back, stretch diagonally, okay. Rake like this, horizontally, all right, now next, scratch, okay, it's better to do obviously under, on the skin, but you know, for the <laughs> demonstration purposes, we're not gonna do that, no, and now we're going to shake the hands off, 
and now do this yeah so you can do it now so the person who now gave it to somebody else is receiving it okay so change with your partner and it goes clockwise okay clockwise always the movement goes clockwise and off the hip you can press with it harder like this yep okay how are we doing okay all right on the other side clockwise clockwise the hand goes clockwise Clockwise is sentido de reloj, yeah? Lexi, a bit more active. One more time. And now with the right hand, the spine, yeah? Mm -hmm. From top to bottom, clockwise. Thank you. Okay. So, with the heel of the hand, from little circles clockwise, up and down, from up, down three times okay and now we're going to cup the back so just cup with a little cup of your hand very good okay perfect thank you now rub your hands together shake them off so <clears throat> a little bit of warm water I am, how nice that you're here. So, if you have a partner, do it with a partner. If not, then I, I showed before, I hope you were here, that you can do it either with a ball or tennis ball. Tennis balls in the, in, in the sock. Or the spike, there is those spiky balls that are very nice and you know soft, that are sold in Mula. So it's very good to activate your back like this if you don't have anybody, but if you do, then there you go. This is how it's done. So, um, now we're going to see how Farouk is allowing us. <laughs> so how Farouk is allowing us to make space. Okay. Where is the remote for? Uh, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Now we're going to do the active exercises. So first, we're going to do what Master Lin recently he posted a good, this good little sequence for the back. So we activated it now like that, and we do five minutes of bouncing. I'm going to show you how. We're going to do five minutes of moving yin and yang. That is exactly for the central and governing. Like I explained, governing meridian governs the the whole back, and obviously it is connected. It has to be stay connected for us to stay healthy with the central meridian, so while we moving yin and yang in the body, we're strengthening this energy and this system, okay? So, and this is going to be five minutes. Next five minutes, we're going to do dolphining of the spine, which is excellent for all the points in the spine, and then at the end, we're gonna harvest the energy, okay? Uh, and before the bouncing, we're going to, yeah, we're gonna do bouncing and preparation, yeah? Mm -hmm. Just to activate the points quickly. I already gave two classes like that, so if you already did them with me, you already know more or less what we're doing. So I'm not going to explain that much, uh, just the major points, okay? So we're going to start with the bouncing. You see Lexi, you see Miles, yeah? So you, I don't know if you see our feet, probably not. No. Um, let me they can put it a little bit feet. further. <coughs> just a second, technical reorganization yeah now we can see the feet perfect now but we can't see my head like this yeah yeah you see us good so <clears throat> hands always uh, wrists are loose so you don't control the movement you just let them go okay the feet stand parallel uh, shoulder width apart, width apart and heels are flat they are not bouncing the movement comes from the knees Okay, so we start bouncing. Let me start again from this so I know the timings. Okay, <clears throat> so we start bouncing. Yeah, let your perfect good. And while we bounce, what we're doing is that we it's like a warm up for the energy. 
to receive all this moving. What is Qigong? Qi is energy. Gong is work. So this is just working with your body's energy for optimal health, for optimal health not only physically, but mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And just so you can feel well and grounded and happy. So these are the proactive uh, methods, let's say, that we can employ in our life not to sit on the sofa and feel like a victim and watch the news and get scared and spread this fear in a negativity instead we can do something to organize our energy to make ourselves stronger to obviously all these exercises they're excellent for the immune system and as stronger we are you know less chance we have uh, to get infected by anything, including the virus. And obviously, normal, logical, sensible, and common sense, washing your hands, be hygienic, you know, stay in as much as you can, have a mask if you have to go out, or cover your face with something, stay away from, you know, keep the, the distance, the recommended distance, and, you know, all the... <coughs> Gloves, except exactly gloves. Uh, and uh, now we can put our hands up like this because this and keep bouncing. So again, when you bounce, just it's you don't do this. You just let your wrist do what it wants. Okay, your hand. This movement is very important because uh, as cave people, and our energy is still from the caves and what we're doing. Also with these exercises, excuse me, is that we're evolving our energy and adapting it to the modern world. You are a little bit holding it, so just let it loose. Yeah, don't control it, just let it do what it wants. So, <coughs> uh, where was I? The cavemen, they needed to get their food from the trees and they needed to, this movement was very, um, you know, usual and normal and now of course how many times do we lift up our arms like this unless we're really into sports and exercise but not so many people do so this is a very important movement to activate uh, the triple burner over here triple burner is the one that customizes all the energy responsible for our survival responsible for our safety for our hormones for our all every single function in the body is from this system you know digestion breathing thinking staying calm it's all in the system and well what we do while doing this we activate the system and we also balance the energy in the head and in the meridians that flow from the head into the <laughs> into the soil so this was our <clears throat> bouncing now we're going to quickly activate uh, the points for before we go into moving yin and yang okay so the points are we activate first we do every movement nine times okay so we start from the stomach points we tap on the cheekbones nine times firmly breathing we're breathing in tummy goes a bit in breathing out tummy goes out okay because I'm, I'm talking as well, you're not supposed to talk, obviously. Uh, when you receive it, you focus on your breathing as much as you can. And when you breathe, you imagine that all the beautiful healing energy of the universe coming from every part of the universe, from every direction, through your skin, into your body, and collecting in the lower Dantian, in this lower energy center where we have our storage of energy which is deep in behind the, la the, the navel, okay? And when you breathe out, you imagine that any pain, any tension, any worry just leaves your body like a smoke and goes to the end of the universe uh, for it to be transmuted. Or you can imagine that or any of this, or this pain, which is blockage again from the Qigong perspective, just goes, flies out of your body like butterflies. Okay, 
like for example I have tension in my shoulders because I have a very bad structural condition in my spine I have scoliosis in different parts I have disc degeneration so I work on my spine every single day with energy medicine, with Qigong, with yoga, with structural exercises from my posture doctor but I still have it, you know, it's something that I live with so um, I now imagine that when I do this, uh, when I breathe in I take the beautiful healing energy in, bless you, and when I breathe out, tap on your thymus, and when I breathe out, I release this tension like beautiful butterflies. They fly out of my shoulders, wherever you have pain, in the lower back, in the middle back, in the neck, in the head, in your leg, in your knee, whatever it is, you know, or you have a little bit of a tummy or a heart, whatever it is, you know, your bladder. So beautiful butterflies on the out breath are leaving you, and going back to the spring forest, to their meadow. They're happy to leave you and you're happy to stay without them, all right? So no bad feelings, no hard feelings, just with gratitude, thank you for coming, thank you for going. Because everything is energy. Energy is a constant transformation. So the only question is, it's transforming for our best or for our worst? To better, for better or for worse. So what we're doing now is transforming it for the for the better and also don't worry about doing it super right because master lin says always it's good better or best so if you're doing good that's already fantastic if you're doing better that's even better if you're doing the best fantastic you are born here like everybody else so we start from it's all clear on the breathing also when you breathe you breathe through your nose and you put the tip of your tongue on the roof of the mouth behind the upper teeth okay because over there we have a switch between central and governing meridian okay so all right start tapping on the cheekbones one two three four five six seven eight nine points at the beginning of the eyebrows one two three four five six seven eight nine bladder points both points are for detoxing now we go into the top of the hand with a cup. We cup the head quite firmly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we go into the here to the base of the neck with a with a cup as well, and we tap here also firmly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Now we go into Betsy. Please take a hanky. Now we're going to massage the C7, which is this protruding <coughs> bone, the last vertebra on the neck, on the cervical spine. And you massage it like this, you pinch and you make a circle. This is a very, very important point, connecting the energy of the head with the, the whole body. And we do it nine times. Okay. Next point we're going to activate is <coughs> the inner elbow, okay? Nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Very good. Right hand. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we're going to lift our arm like this and activate the heart energy in the armpit nine times with a cup. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay? One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Next one is going to be we're going to cl clap our hands together, okay? Nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Very good. Okay, next movement is we're going to tap on our tailbone, okay? Over here, the beginning of the back meridian, governing meridian. Tapping on the tailbone. Just with a soft wrist, you know, like a, like a whip. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> and now we're going to tap on these points on the hips. They have these like dimples. Okay, so with with a fist like that, tapping for about nine seconds, breathing in and out. Down on the roof of the mouth. Okay, now 
we're going to activate the points on the knees. Remember yesterday we talked a lot about the knees as well. So front knees nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Back of the knees. And both sides. And another side. Perfect. And now we're going to lift ourselves on the toes and drop on the heels. Lift and drop. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. We prepared. Now we're going to say our password. Before that, we're going to put our hands together like this to the chest and this is the moment when we connect to our heart energy and we connect to the energy of the universe or the energy that you consider your spiritual master whoever that is for me it is master lean uh, <clears throat> it can be anybody you know it is up to you so you connect to that energy and you give gratitude in advance for helping you in this practice and you say what you're going to focus on. If you say, thank you for your loving, unconditional, uh, for your unconditional love and energy, healing energy that you bring into my practice. Um, so I can, so all my channels, all my meridians are open to receive this energy so I can transform any blockages in my body, any blockages in my spine or in my bones or in any organ. Alexia, close your eyes and this is the intention, so we focus our intention. For religious people, if you want to say it's a prayer, then it's a prayer. I'm not a religious person, so for me, I'm connecting to the universe and to my master's energy. When you said that, then we're going to say a password. A password is like this. I am in the universe. Lexi? I am in the universe. Miles? I am in the universe. Universe is in my body. Universe is in my body. Universe and I combine together. Universe and I combine together. So this is like our password onto the universal software for healing. Okay, so we created a space safe right now. Okay, and now we're going to Go into the yin and yang, moving yin and yang. So your right hand goes to the upper chest on the level of the throat a little bit and the left hand stays at the bottom of the body. And you have a distance, so it's not, they're not right next to the body, there is a distance between the hands and the body. Okay, now we're going to Bend our knees just a little bit. Check on your legs now. Check that they are, the feet are parallel and on the shoulder width, more or less. Put the, put the uh, tongue on the roof of your mouth. When you bend your knees, you immediately start activating your kidney energy. Kidney energy is the vital energy in our body in our system, in our life. It's very important energy that starts decreasing in women with the age of 35 and with men at the age of 40. So it is very important to work on our kidney if we want to live a long and healthy life. So every time you bend your knees, you activate the kidney energy. And now we're gonna start moving the hands in this way. I'll stand sideways so you can see. The hand that is up, it goes down on the outside and at the same time, the hand that it was down, it goes up on the inside. And when it reached the opposite points, they start moving back to where they were. The rhythm of the movement is, as you can see, it is quite slow and you can just tune into your breathing and go with your breathing. 
with this. This will be the perfect trim. You breathe in on the count of three or four. You hold your breath on the count of two or three. And you breathe out on the count of four or five. So out breath is longer for relaxation and detoxing of the body. While you're moving your energy like this, you're moving two major forces in the body, yin and yang. Everything else is based on yin and yang. Every meridian, every organ, every emotion, every, everything. This is the beginning of the universe, yin and yang. And you also, you imagine a column of light the size and the width of it is up to you, the color as well, running through the center of your body, exactly where we are moving our hands now along this column of light. And when you are familiar, already more familiar with this movement, I invite you to connect with the energy of happiness. You can just say, I feel so happy. You can think of something that made you happy today or any time in your life. Maybe it was just sunshine on your face. Maybe it was your child's smile. Maybe it was your animal pet, cat or dog. Maybe it was a really nice cup of tea or coffee. Whatever that is, whatever makes you happy, this is the energy that is going to help to heal your liver. Because liver is such a vital organ and it is healed and all the blockages in the liver are transformed when we balance it out with the energy of happiness. And now we are in the energy of spring it just took over from winter and today we are the first day of the springtime as well and spring if you remember it's the element of wood and the element of wood is famous for what emotion when it's in balanced emotion rage. anger rage frustration and these emotions, when they're constant, if they are imbalanced and uncontrolled, then they really are damaging for our liver. So when we balance our liver, we want to have happy thoughts. And not only happy thoughts, you connect to the energy of happiness in the universe. You can say, happiness is flowing into me right now and filling me up filling up my every vertebra in the spine my every bone in the body my every muscle my every tissue and ligament and tendon happiness is filling my eyes it's flowing into my ears into my face, into my neck, into my chest, into my stomach, into my legs and feet and fingers. Happiness is in my every cell in the body. Happiness is in my liver and every other internal organ. Happiness is in my thoughts. Happiness is in my feelings. Happiness is what I am. Happiness is what I feel. Happiness is in my soul. And know that it is so, that this healing, the happiness healing is happening right now and makes you feel so much better and heals you fully and completely. 
So now when we finish this movement, we are going to bring our hands in front of our belly button to the center that is called lower dantian, like I said before. And the hands are like this, they don't touch each other, there is distance between them. Fingers are open. And for women, right hand is in, left hand is out, and for men it is vice versa. Okay, so for, for men it is left hand in and right hand out. For, for women, left hand in, right hand out. Now we're going to focus on our belly button on the lower dantian and take three deep gentle breaths. Can you feel the energy that we have generated? If you're a sensitive person or you have been practicing energy exercises, you can feel my hands, for example, are absolutely pulsing with energy from the from the belly button and in between us and between each other. Do you feel energy and yours? So everybody can do it. After these three deep breaths, we also imagine that this energy that was coming into the belly button through our practice, like I said, with the breathing, this energy collects in a ball, like a shiny, brilliant, golden ball, becomes a ball, and it goes round and round clockwise behind the belly button, inside of the body, and it becomes smaller and smaller, it compresses to the size of a golden peel, and it hides in this center, it stays there as our storage energy. Now we can slowly bring our hands down. And now we're going to practice a um, dolphining of the back exercise for the spine. And then we're going to harvest the energy that we cultivated. How we dolphin the back? I'll show you sideways. So you support your back <coughs> with your hands on the level either here on the waist or a little bit higher on the kidneys. First move is that you bring your chest forward like this, you bend a little bit, then you bend your knees and bring them forward, and then you carry on pushing them forward and going back, and you create like a wave. Imagine that you are a wave, okay? So we go again. Forward, knees forward, chest back, and straighten up. This is dolphining of the back that is so beneficial for our spine. So let's do it together, okay? So forward, bend the knees, knees go forward, pelvis goes forward, back, Okay, and breathe. Master Lin recommends to do this this exercise, dolphin of the, of the spine, for five minutes. You can do it on your own for five minutes. Now we're gonna start harvesting the chi because we already spent a lot of time in the class with explanations and talking about the books. Feels good, doesn't it? So three more times. gonna harvest the chi. What does it mean? We're gonna place the energy we cultivated now through the practice into all the right spots in the body where it's needed. You rub your hands together and you massage your face nine times in this way. Your middle finger goes along the nose, up the forehead and goes back 
to the chin, along the cheeks, along the sides of the face. Four and five and six and seven and eight and nine. On the face we have all the major channels, so when we work with the face, when you massage the face, you actually massage your whole body. After this, we're going to rake our head with our nails, with the fingers, just like that, from the forehead to the back of the head. Four and five and six and seven and eight and nine. Now we're going to cup our head like this, with the cups, uh, the, our hands like cups, from front to back again. Four and five and six and seven, eight and nine. Now we're going to massage our ears nine times from top to bottom. Every part of the ear is massaged. And if when you are at the earlobe, pull on the earlobe down. Three and four. Again, we are massaging our whole body right now because we have 200 acupressure points on the ear. Every time you find a sore spot on your ear, stay on this spot. Massages, massage it until the pain is gone because the blockage that it corresponds to in the body will be gone. Okay, now we're going to tap on the back of the head again. And now we're going to tap on the inner side of the arms and outer side. These are our lung meridian, large intestine, trupogoma, heart, pericardium, small intestine, six meridians on uh, the inner side and outer side of the arm. And change to the other side. It's with a cup. And you cup firmly, yeah? And open the fingers. Always open the fingers. Because when you close your fingers, you close your channels. Energy is not flowing. It stays in your body. Alright, now we're going to tap our torso from shoulders, from the collarbone to the bottom of the body, of the torso, with the cup also quite firmly. Very important for the breast, this movement, for the stomach, okay? Now we're going to tap on the side over here, under the armpit. Activating our liver, spleen, gallbladder, lung points are here too, that are connected to gallbladder. Now we're going to massage our tummy in this way. You lock, interlock your fingers and you go from right to left counterclockwise, from your right side to the left side. Yeah, clockwise. Yeah, sorry, it's clockwise, of course, yes. We go clockwise from right to left about nine times and you massage quite deeply as well because you're massaging now your internal organs inside. All right, and now we're going to, let's do this first, or, yeah, let's activate again the tailbone. Tailbone is the beginning, um, well, it's on, yeah, on the other side of the governing meridian, of the back meridian, and it is connected to the reproductive organ, to our vitality, uh, to, to the weight control, to our overall health is very very important point and this is the point that is recommended to tap at least a like, couple of minutes a day for everybody and especially as well for women after 35 to avoid any blockages in the reproductive organs okay now we're going to do a little bit more exercises for the spine not exercises but harvesting the energy and we're gonna dolphin the neck Okay, so like what Master Lin shows as well <coughs> in his live class. We're gonna do it nine times. So it's like you are scooping the ball 
and bringing it up and imagine this ball goes up into the crown of your head do it as gently as necessary if you have any neck problems yeah you can do it very slowly and very gently be very aware of your movements very present and very conscious to your energy okay uh, now we're going to move our chin as if you had a pencil and wanted to draw a circle on paper so first we're going to draw a circle clockwise which is from left to right here like this one two three four gently five six seven eight and nine And now the other way, <coughs> from right to left. One, two, gently with your neck, no yanking. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. And now we're going to put our hands like that in front of the collarbone and gently check your feet as well check your posture okay back straight tummy in on the in breath tummy out on the out breath and slowly we're going to turn to one side and the other nine times each side two three you can do it faster if you're strong and healthy and your back is fine if you have any problem in the back, I recommend you to go slow and gently. And anyways, energy likes a slow pace. Now we're going to lower our arms, keep them like this, the same fingers looking at each other. And now we're going to do the same movement on this level. Two and three. And four, shoulders, shoulders back, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. These twists are excellent for the whole spine. And now we're going to activate the spine in this way. You're going to lock your fingers like this and just how would you describe it? Bang them together? Mm -hmm. Yeah, or is there another way to say it? Mm -hmm. How would you say it? Bang your fingers together. Bang your fingers together. So these parts over here, they have lots and lots of connections to the spine. Okay? So this is how we do it. We do it first for about 30 seconds this way. And then you can change your fingers. So if they were like this, you can change them like that. Marcelo Vissette taught, taught us that in the class in Amsterdam. Master Lim teaches just one side, but it's nice to have both sides balanced. So I also like that. And you do about 20-30 seconds on this side as well. So now our energies on our spine are nice and warm and flowing and activated. Do you feel that? Yeah? Okay, and we're going to finish with tapping on our dimples in the hip bones. This is connected as well to our legs, to any uh, possible blockage in the hip. If you have pain over there, then this is the, 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 the point to tap. It's also connected to our weight control, to reproductive organs. It's also a very important energy point in the body. Now we're going to do our knees again. Straighten up slowly and now we're going to again put ourselves on the toes and drop on the heels, activating spleen and kidney energy and balancing them 
Spleen is our immune system, kidney is our vital energy, that is the beginning of everything and that is actually is in charge, kidney and bladder as water element are in charge of our bones and in charge of our spine. And like I said, blood and meridian goes twice alongside the spine and is responsible for our central nervous system. So, this is the end of our exercises for the back health. This is the end of our family time together with you this morning, Sunday morning, 29th of March, 2020. Thank you very much all for coming. So, um, please let us know if you liked it by liking it, sharing it further, commenting. We'd be very grateful, not just for us, but for everybody else who can benefit from it. And remember that Master Lin will come live at 2 p.m. with a free class as well. Tune in, it's gonna be a watch party on my group, Harmony Unique. If you want to have to look at some other videos on my channel, then you can go on YouTube and uh, see my channel, Harmony Unique. Okay, and um, yeah, we wish you health and happiness and a beautiful Sunday. And we'll see you soon. And thanks for everybody. Thanks everybody who was here. Hi Petra. Bye everybody. It's gonna be in recording, okay? So you can Bye. enjoy it later. All right. All the best.